Greetings. Um, today we are brewing a new, a first in a new series of beers we're going to try and make, uh, where we uh, cover or clone um, a favorite beer that we like. So uh, we are going to represent Bootleg today, our fave, um, and we're going to make a clone of Pills and Acid. Now, I've already uh, started this thing and messed up a little bit, so uh, let's see uh, what happens. So while we will definitely be drinking a Pills and Acid uh, today, I thought, well, actually Aaron started uh, with, I guess, the OG bootleg, I feel. Yeah. Uh, Squidgy Boy, uh, West Coast IPA, what are your thoughts on this? I love it. Uh, while you wait for Lego Star Wars to load up. <laughs> I have priorities. <laughs> okay. We have one of the DLC and we're going to I'm annoyed as hell because I want to be Ahsoka because I drank Megan for like the last time. Fair enough. Exactly. Uh, so Squiffy Boy. Love it. Um, I feel like solid beer. What's your best? Right, and I think, I feel like this is what I try to encapsulate when I explain bootleg. Like, this is yeah. my favorite West Coast beer. Which is surprising for you. Yeah. Um, because you're not the biggest like, West Coast. No, and I think the reason I like it is it is pretty approachable. Um, so, there we go, yeah. Good, a big swimming boy. definitely some of our favorite glasses that we have uh, and their merch is also really cool uh, may or may not have gotten this shirt for free uh, while we were in bootleg last week or at bootleg last week uh, yeah so we've got some these are some cool glasses not sure if we featured this one yet uh, it is like the newest one yeah it's super cool but now we're gonna drink a pills and acid do you, do you want to say anything about Pills and Acid? I love it. Probably my favorite pseudo lager. <laughs> I'm really into pseudo lagers lately. Like pseudo lagers. Um, no, I love it. It's like the perfect thing to have on tap. I don't like summer. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think too that it is super, again, super approachable. Um, but little bits of funk, and so we're gonna get to use Huel. Is it Huel? Huel Melon for the first time. Uh, we're gonna dry hop with, uh, with that, exciting. so that's kind of exciting. I feel like we'll we could use that in some IPAs. Oh, well, good, right? Uh, and the pills and acid glass, that's something I kind of yeah. want to. They they serve it in this uh, really like skinny uh, tall glass, which is really cool. And it says pills and acid on it. If we tried this in our last vlog or not, uh, it is. Um, so that is a collab actually between Bootleg and uh, Boomstick. And uh, so we like Boomstick now. Just, just so you know, putting that out there. We had the really good Time Scientist um, beers. Uh, we had what was it? Jack Daniel Stout. Um, <laughs> and the Saison and a quad in Chardonnay barrels. Yes, so good. Um, yeah, so we like Boomstick. So, I know we drank this in a vlog uh, before, 
Booze Likes Beach Party, Hazy Pale Ale with Coconut. I gotta say, um, probably my favorite bootleg beer ever. Uh, definitely something I would uh, suggest to anybody who likes uh, hazy beers, uh, IPAs, pale ales, obviously. Um, I am a huge fan of it. Um, it's so cool that we were in bootleg last weekend and there was only one beer there that we haven't been able to get here lately. So we've been really lucky on the East Coast uh, to be able to get some bootleg beers. Uh, how do you feel about Beach Party, Mich Monsieur? It's a no <laughs> It's right going. Um, um, but yeah, I feel like it's the first of like, Like, yeah, yeah. I've had a couple like five beers, but nothing. Yeah, nothing it's as good. it's so good. Uh, what's one of the favorite beers you've had, if you can remember from bootleg, uh, from various visits? That beer. Ooh, yeah, just cherry the tip, bottom. just, just the, tip. the tip. Yeah, uh, uh, cherry bottom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you remember there was a New England Pale Ale a couple yep. summers ago? That was really good too. Yep. And they had personal with it. They had this like really nice grisette. Yes. That's the first time I ever had a grisette. Um, yep. We were going to do the grisette uh, for this series. Yep. Um, but we chose pills and acid. But I definitely want to make a grisette. A grisette is like a lemony sort of wheat beer. Um, yeah, so good. It, it's pretty lacking uh, here. Nobody really makes any now, uh, but it is available in the uh, Muskoka mix pack that's currently out right now. So I would, <laughs> I would definitely suggest trying. Our last bootleg beer for tonight is the way she goes up, um, and. I gotta say, this is the Goza I would Goza to. <laughs> you get me? Um, I think it's super accessible and it's like super balanced between um, like sort of citrus and salt. Great, 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 great beer. Uh, so how are you feeling about our brew? Good. Um, our match was a little high when it comes to heat, so I'm a little worried about that, but other than that, it should be fine. So the brew is done. I wasted uh, salsa over my shirt and it turned black. <laughs> Just kidding. I changed shirts. You probably realized that. Um, here she goes. Uh, Aaron thinks it's going to be super light. Yeah, it's in color. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to use that Huel Melon mm -hmm. stuff in the dry hop. Uh, how many days do you think we will wait? Uh, we'll see how the yeast vibes Oh, uh, yeah. That's how you've been doing it lately, which was pretty smart. Cool. So we will... Uh, I'll try to vlog the dry hopping because we often forget to dry hop. And I think this is a really important one that we gotta remember. So we think two weeks is up. I'm not really sure. For some reason I can't remember when we bottled. Um. Ooh. Do you remember when we were like overly thrilled when we heard that sound <laughs> in our beer? Um. Okay, so I'm sure it's not going to be as good as a pills and acid. But this was their burger bottle, was it? I'm not sure actually. They all looked pretty decent. I didn't mark one. Um, but I did notice some like sediments in the bottom there. Uh, if anybody has any tri tricks on how to avoid some of that when you dry hop, because uh, I find that that happens. It kind of smells like it. Oh. 
Holy shit. Wow. We did good. We did good. Thank you, Bootleg. <laughs> yes, uh, shout out to Bootleg for actually giving us the actual recipe of Pearls and Acid. Um, this, is, oh. this is awesome. I can't wait to share this with people. So good. Catcher's like... 